Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, right, today I'm going to do just that. I'm going to look at a cryptic crossword and take a look at the times. Um, apologies that the videos have been a little bit more sporadic this week. Uh, Mark and I are in a team that is competing in the Galactic Puzzle Hunt, um, which is a fantastic puzzle hunt online, but it's taken a lot of our time. So that's why. Now let's have a look at this. Friday's puzzle in the times tends to be the most difficult of the week. Um, so often it's quite a challenge. Let's see how we, what we can find. So Munro, it's associated with Karakaram Mountain. Um, okay, Munro. So it's trying, the clue surface is trying to um, uh, make us think about mountains with Munro obviously being a type of hill or mountain. But Munro is also the pen name, I think, of Saki. So I am wondering whether the answer to this clue is actually this. Now how on earth, you might say, am I getting this? So let's assume I'm right about the pen name here. It, it is sometimes uh, a word for sex appeal. If somebody said to have it, they have sex appeal. Now, sex appeal, believe it or not, we'll check it at the end. In Chambers, a valid abbreviation for sex appeal is SA. Um, and then a Karakaram mountain. I'm wondering if K1 was a mountain as well as K2. I don't know that, but it seems likely to me. So this would be a way of writing K1. And that would give us Saki. So let's see if this is right. Northerner of 20, briefly, without employment. Well, uh, my own roots showing here. Scousers are northerners. Um, I used to live just outside Liverpool. Um, and here you see uh, score for 20. Um, most of the word score, so score is just brief there, surrounds use, which is a word for employment, and a northerner being a scouser. scouser. No. Hummer carrying Buddhist priest in US city. Uh, Hummer. A well, Buddhist priest is making me think of Lama and words like that. Um, I'm not sure I know that one yet. Grandees lionized holding back something for the press. Well, here, the way I got this clue was I looked at the first two words in the clue. Now, these are such strange words to see in a sentence. Grandees and lionized. Um, but both of them are eight letters long. Um, and Therefore, I know the clue is seven letters long, so I, I'm not really thinking anagram. But why have these two words been selected? And the reason is that actually the answer to this clue is hidden in these two words. Because if we look inside them, they are holding back the word oilseed, O-I-L-S-E-E-D, which is something you might find in a press. So there we go that's what's going on there so again just being aware that some words don't sit naturally together and if if they don't you should be asking yourself why the compiler has been forced to use them a so-so assignment has the makings of a drama well here again i'm looking at a so-so assignment and i'm thinking a strange collection of letters is this an anagram and a so-so and assignment it they do add to 15 letters. So I think this is going to be the name of a drama. Um, can I spot it without more letters? It's like Simon's something. No, I can't spot it without more letters. Um, although, I'm not sure. Uh, blue bottle, returning note, buzzing round rook. Okay, well, Hmm. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a handle on whether I think that the definition here is blue bottle or rook. Rook, obviously, it can be a castle in chess, but to rook somebody can mean to con them or fleece them. So, hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, let's try this one. Nine down. Understand, that's probably get, individual's private advocate is to be avenged. 
get one's own back is going to be the answer there. So let's work out why. Understand is get. Individuals, they are ones. Private advocate is one's own back or one's own backer. If you advocate somebody, you back them. So uh, just a nice misdirection there. And obviously, if you're avenged, you get one's own back. So, OK, so it's not Simon. Um, Samson Agonistics, is it that? God, I think it is. But that means I'm going to have to remember how to spell this. Um, let's go for that. I think that's right. Um, so what is this now? It's got llama in the middle of it. Hummer. Carrying Buddhist priest in US city. A US city beginning with K. I feel like I should be able to get that, unless it's the name of a US city, in which case, ooh, and a hummer could be a word for something that hums, obviously, as well as a vehicle. Um, Colin, ah. Oh dear, that's going to be a problem if we just don't know this. Four down. A company boss with drive taking unrewarding roles. A company boss is an MD, perhaps? And DRAM. <laughs> so A is just the, the letter A here. A company boss is a managing director, an MD. Drive something, you ram it. And if you take unrewarding roles, you take unpaid roles. You're in amateur dramatics, so Andram is the answer there. Teams are holding line after defenders lapses. Well, defender could be a back, couldn't it? So teams holding line, backslide, backslides. Okay, so that's going to be the answer there. Backslides. So you've got um, uh, a side here apostrophe S, so S-I-D-E apostrophe S is holding L for line after the word back, which means a defender is a back in a football game. So crawled from floor, weight dragged behind, crawled, kowtowed I think. If you floor someone you KO them. So how does the rest of it work? Let's put that in. Weight is um, uh, just W, and then if you drag something behind, you tow it. So past tense of that, towed. Dismissive remark from impolite Turk left one reeling. Dismissive remark from... OK, well, this is an anagram. It's going to be a dislike it or lump it, perhaps. I, I quite like as the answer here. Um, impolite Turk L and I, if we... I think that's going to add up to 15 letters, um, or 14 letters. So that's going to give us like it or lump it. And you can see that reeling here is the anagram indicator. If someone's reeling, they're staggering, um, you know, so they're mixed up, which is always in an anagram clue. You need a word that indicates that mixture. Uh, not getting off with a fine Luke band up what on earth? Not getting off wakeful is the answer here. This is an anagram, but it's hard to see that it's an anagram. If you're not getting off in the sense of you're not sleeping, you're not going to sleep, you're wakeful. And if we look at the rest of the clue here, you've got with, which can abbreviate be abbreviated to W, A, that's just A. Fine can be abbreviated to F. You might see that on a pencil, I think. Um, and, and then Luke is just obviously plain text, and that's all banged up. So banged up here rather than reeling, but it's all the same sort of thing. Volunteers ate up, prepared for Jack 2. Strange surface here. So prepare for Jack 2. Well, Jack Spratt would eat no fat. So the answer here is D fat. 
And the way the wordplay works is volunteers, well, that's very commonly the territorial army, so TA. You can see TA and FED, which means eight, are being reversed. They are up. So in a down clue, the word up can indicate reversal. It can never indicate reversal in an across clue. And in fact, sometimes it's used as an anagram indicator. Because if, uh, if you actually look at the definition of up, it can, in some circumstances, you know, it can mean rebellion. Um, so that's going to be the answer there. So notice the cats come in trying to attract attention. Notice the cats come in. Um, why can't I just write this in? I am so dumb sometimes. 14 cross. Savagery of attack. Outside centre recalled years later. Savagery of attack. Outside centre recalled. <sighs> years later. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Let's try 15 down. I grasp promotion technique poorly. Um, poorly, in a bad way, I quite like. But, so there you can see, I, I literally, I looked at that clue for 10, 15 seconds with no clue about how to solve it. And the way that I managed to solve it was I focused exclusively on the first and last parts of the clue. And I tried to think of a phrase that meant either I grasp, and I couldn't think of anything that meant I grasp, or poorly. And if you're poorly in the sense you're ill, you're in a bad way. And all of a sudden, it becomes solvable then, because then I can go back to the start of the clue and see whether this, this wordplay fits. I, that's just this I here, grasp. If you grasp something, you nab it. A promotion is an advert. That's AD. And then technique is the way you do something. So in a, or I nab ad way is the way the wordplay breaks down. Victor, at 55, retired, a banker in Europe. OK, well, a banker in Europe, now you may be thinking of a Swiss gnome or something like that in a financial sense. I'm pretty certain this clue means no such thing. A banker is something that has banks. So it, I think it's likely to be a river. So Victor at 55. Now, 55, if you see numbers in crossword clues, normally it either refers to another clue but there isn't a clue number 55 in this crossword, or most often it will be a Roman numeral. So Roman numeral for 55 is LV. So Victor, Victor can of course be V, I think, as well in the international radio alphabet. So that would give us two Vs. I think this is going to be a real one of those really obscure rivers that I don't know very well. So at 55, I'm wondering if it's something like this. Vltava. Now I don't know this is a river, but the way I've got to that is Victor, I think is this V here. At is just AT. 55 is LV, that's all retired or reversed, and then this A here is this A. Now remember, a crossword clue, a perfect cryptic crossword clue, should have no superfluous words. So this A, let's read the clue without this A. Victor at 55 retired, banker in Europe. The clue still means exactly the same thing. So why is this A here? The only reason is it must be necessary for the wordplay. So I quite like this. I don't know this as a river, but that's my own ignorance. But I'm going to leave it in and hope it's right. Aged Scottish hag heard in the theatre. Oh. Um, aged. I don't know that. Let's move on. Deputy to support home rule. Second in command. If you support somebody, you second them. Home, if you're home, you're in. And if you rule somebody, you command them. So that's how the wordplay breaks down. Obviously, a deputy is a second in command. Let's try this one beginning with C. 
This South American native no good for a film. Uh, this South American native no good for a film. No, I'm not quite seeing that. Uh, suspend for not behaving predictably. Um, suspend. No. Miss, oh, misrepresent pops as very loud. That sounds like it's an anagram. Um, misrepresent. Actually, maybe it's not pops as very loud. Misrepresent something, you pass it off. So here, tricky clue actually, hard to get your head round. So misrepresent is the definition. Pops is a word for your father. Um, so I think what's going on here is that is, um, or pop is a word for your father as well actually. Um, so here, pop is giving pa, as in father, you might refer to your father as your pa, plural, so pars, very is so, uh, and loud, uh, I think, is ff, which you might see on a musical score. So I think that's how that works. I'm not absolutely certain, but I think it's a plausible explanation. Salt beef nearly everyone had for lunch. Salt had for lunch. Don't know. This is an interesting collection of letters. So F and a K in this one. Um, flickering or something like that. Ireland portrayed in film golf, <laughs> making brief appearance. I do like flickering as the answer. Um, Erin can be a word for Ireland. And a flick is a film, yes. Okay, so here, here's how this breaks down. And again, all I've done there is use the letters in the grid, seen the words making brief appearance, guessed at the answer of flickering, and then it's a case of justifying it. This could be very hard to solve just from the wordplay. Um, so here we've got Ireland, which is Erin, which is a word for Ireland. It might be in a poetic sense, Erin is, uh, we'll have a look at that at the end. Film, flick, Golf, international radio word, word for, the, for the G, so that's this G here. So flick and G surround area to give us the answer. Ah, so is this Cootie then? Yes. Goodness me, that's difficult. This is a very interesting type of clue. The answer is Cootie, which is an animal, uh, presumably a native South American animal. So here, the way to read the wordplay is you need this South American native, i.e. the word Coty. If you added NG to that, which is in a valid abbreviation for no good, you would create the word coating. And coating is a film. If you have put a coating on something, you put a film on it. So that's why this this is here. It's saying this, which is the answer, plus NG, equals film. So it's quite quite a mathematical, uh, I often think of cryptic crosswords as quite actually, even though they're very linguistic, they have a lot of mathematical properties, you know, this plus that equals something else. Um, Christian may be largely saying nothing smart at any time. Oof. Christian maybe, he was a mutineer, Fletcher Christian on the bounty, and mutineer would fit here. If you're largely saying nothing, you're largely if you're most of the word mute, uh, nothing smart at smart. Sorry, then smart at any time. Smart at any time. Saying nothing. Smart muting maybe. Smart at any time. I'm not quite getting that. Something smart, maybe it's in. Although it's not a very familiar synonym. And then ear mean, uh, ever, can mean ever. Double E-R. 
so at any time I could give double ER here. So I think that's how that works. Must be using smart for in. Smart is it in? I don't know. Uh, salt beef nearly everyone had for lunch. Salt beef nearly everyone. Ooh. So this is going to be the name of a salt, as in chemistry. Oxalate or something like that. A beef would, could be an ox. Nearly everyone would be nearly the word all. Had for lunch eight. That would give the word oxalate. It's another guess. I don't know this word, but it does seem quite plausible to me. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is whether there could be another letter here. Beef. It's very good for ox, isn't it? I'm going to go with it. Uh, upset Charming, hosts of EU Council. Very uh, uh, relevant clue for today's uh, Brexit shenanigans. Um, upset Charming hosts. EU Council hosts of EU Upset Charming. If you're charming, you're nice. So Upset Charming could be a reversal of the word nice. Hosts of Ecofin. Good Lord, that is a difficult clue. <laughs> Ecofin, I think I've heard of as one of these councils that uh, exists in Europe. Um, so here you have got Upset Charming, it is a reversal of nice. Hosting, i.e. surrounding the word of, O-F, and an EU council I think is Ecofin. Very hard. Something to drive down travel cost. Consider getting picked up. Something to drive down is a fairway in a golf sense. A travel cost is a fair, F-A-R-E. And if you consider something, you weigh it up, W-E-I-G-H. So this is a homophone because if you hear something, you pick it up. So getting picked up is saying we need to think of words that mean travel cost and consider. Um, and then think of a different way of spelling them. And if we do that, we can create the word fairway, which is the answer. Again, I'm quite pleased with that. That's not an easy clue. Uh, old nursemaid, that's going to be... Um, yeah, I mean, this is one of these words you write, but you just have to learn from doing times crosswords. And a yar is an old word for a nursemaid. We'll look at that at the end in chambers. Um, and how does that work? Well, if we look at the regular letters of Mary Wash, in this, in this case, regular means the even numbered letters. You can see we get A, Y, A, H, which is the answer. Good Lord, what on earth is going to fit in here? Aldwych, I suppose. Aldwych, okay. So, aged Scottish hag heard in the theatre, an old witch. <laughs> old, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but I think that's what... Um, that's how that works. It might be that uh, ALD is the w Scottish word for for old, actually, and then hag heard is a homo homophone for the word witch, W-I-T-C-H, um, to give us the ending there, W-Y-C-H. Um, so let's just, I mean, just take a pause here and look at the letters we've got in this bottom right corner. You've got, I mean, it's completely absurd. It's an amazing fill from the compiler. I mean, this word crossing with this word and this word. Um, wow. Uh, right, so we've done well to get to this point. Now let's see if we can get this one. So suspend for not behaving predictably. Um, suspend for could be pro, I guess, not behaving prorogue. As in, is this a Brexit reference? You might have heard in the UK press over the last few weeks people talking about proroguing Parliament, which means a suspension of Parliament in order to um, force Brexit to happen on time. So this 
this is a very interesting word combined with, we've already had several other EU references, or at least I perceive them to be references to the uh, European Union. So for is pro, not behaving predictably is rogue, pro-rogue, put that together. So oh God, I just don't know this word. Um, in US city. Karoo? I vaguely think I've heard of that. Let me just have a look at this. Oh, this doesn't look very good, does it? R blank R. But blue bottle returning note buzzing round rook. Note could be a tenor or a fiver or blue bottle. Rook could be R. I mean, this R could be turning note buzzing round. Uh, I don't like that. Calamaroo, though, does it rings the vaguest of bells. Uh, savagery of attack outside centre recalled years later. Savagery. Venom, venom, outside centre recalled. Centre could be a mid, I guess, or a core. Yes, core could be centre, couldn't it? So a s outside centre recall. That could give that ferocity, therefore, would be the answer. So how does this work? I see. So savagery is ferocity, an attack is a fit, F-I-T, and that is outside, it surrounds centre recalled, which is a reversal of the word, a word for centre, reversal of core. Years later is Y can be a valid abbreviation for years. All we'll put that together, we get ferocity. Splashy. Oh, that could be the answer actually. Notice the cats come in. A cat is another word for a whip. That gives us lash. If you notice something, you spy it. So you put spy around lash. Something's trying to create attention. In a headline sense, you might see a splash headline in a newspaper. So splashy, I think, is the answer. So we're just left with this crossing here. Two down and 13 across. Um, blue bottle returning note buzzing round rook. Um, let me think about this one. I think I've got to remove this R. Oh, I just don't think it's right. This is ringing. This is ringing some sort of bell. Calamari, Cala, Magoo, Cala. Thirteen across blue bottle returning note buzzing round rook. Blue bottle could that be a word for a policeman? Because if it could be, this wordplay could give Rosa a Rosa is a word for a policeman, obviously. And then how's this work? Well, we've got re returned, which is um one of the notes in the scale, so do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re there is spelt like this, re, buzzing, well I'm wondering if zz Z is buzzing, you might see that in a cartoon to indicate buzzing, round could be just a round letter, something that's round, o, and rook would be r, that would give rosa and make this kalamazoo, Hummer, a kazoo. Yes, one of those funny things that my children play with. Um, kazoo carrying llama. Kalamazoo must be the US city. I'm going to go with this. There are several guesses in this puzzle, though. Uh, let's see if we're right. Um, and then I'm going to get chambers up and we'll have a look at that just to talk about some of the odd words. I know this makes the videos long, but I, I know for some, yeah, we are right, that's, that's a good solve. So let's take a look at some of these words.
In fact, I was, as I was looking at it, I was thinking how, mu how much general knowledge there is here. Here we go, an ayah. Uh, in India, a form of British, a waiting maid or a nursemaid. So, there we go. Rosa there is a policeman, that's just slang. Etymology is uh, obscure, which is interesting. Koti, some of you may not be familiar with Koti, it comes up in crosswords quite a lot because I think that this construction where you have the C, five letter or five letter word beginning with a C and ending in an I is relatively unusual and therefore useful for filling difficult grids. The other one you see from time to time is that one, which is the Koipu, um, for similar reasons. Um, now, there was some things, uh, let's just see if Munro um, is the... So there you go, you've got um, Munro in the mountain sense there. I don't know if I'll be able to prove Saki from the dictionary though, I doubt it. Uh, let's just have a quick look. No, I will have to look at the uh, Wikipedia or something for that. Um, and Kazoo we understood, I think, in the end. And I was oh, old for an old word. Is that an old word for Scottish? No, it must just be how a Scotsman might say old witch then, which is a slightly, uh, slightly forced interpretation if I've understood it correctly. And let's just check Pro Rogue. There we go, to discontinue meetings. Um, so certainly this is now being used in a parliamentary sense in the UK. And is ECOFIN in here? It is, there you go. The Legislative Council for Economic and Finance Ministers of all EU member countries. So again, a very interesting clue today. And then here we go. The Vlatava is indeed, it's a Czech river apparently, which I didn't know. I'll try and remember that one. And then Kalamazoo, uh, I know we've got a lot of US subscribers are probably screaming at the screens about my ignorance for not knowing that this is a city in Michigan. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, Kalamazoo doesn't doesn't come into the, the UK conscious terribly often. And here we've got Saki, which is, was our first one in. And, you know, it requires a bit of general knowledge to even understand what was going on there. So Munro, better known by the pen name Saki, which luckily enough I was uh, familiar with to to help me with that start. And I put K1 in here just to see if I could justify that. And there we go, another name for the Mashabrum, a mountain in the Karakoram range in Pakistan. So we even understood that part of the clue. And last but not least, there's oxalate there, a salt of oxalic acid. So we were right in thinking that beef was ox. Um, this, this was a brutally hard crossword, I'm not going to lie. If you are new to Times Crosswords, you must be looking at this thinking that is unsolvable. Um, well, it's not unsolvable. I did manage to solve it. It did take me a very long time, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but as I say, I know that we do have people who enjoy um, me wading my way through these. So I think I've certainly done that today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.